Well, we just knew we would have after all. Big, big field looking impressive on the back straight as they come around now, set to go. It's going to be hard for the ones at the back. With the quality on the field up front. Oh, person the front right there, Clinton Nancy got the dome arguing from uh, Terry Leonville. Aaron Prosser tries to go on the inside of Leonville. Leonville will have to pop one over Prosser here now because he's the man that took his crown from him. The Australian title that was. So it's Leonville and Prosser. One and two at the moment. Brad Morrison in third for Steve Collins. Got a problem. Alex Coward in the back straight. Alex Coward in the little ute. Leonveld. Clinton Hansi. Now uh, let's see how Clancy handles this restart. Better than the original one, that's for sure. He tucks in on Prosa. Oh, what a brilliant, brave move that was indeed. Right across the nose of the A1 car. He did it and did it beautifully. So as they line up for one, it's Hansi. From Leonville, Leonville on the outside. Hansi on the inside. Oh, big bicycle there by Hansi. How close can you go? And around we go. 60, uh, the 53 of Will Butler. Unbelievable how he never rolled there, Hansi. He brought it back somehow, but that crosses up there too. The A1 car, the cream has risen to the crop in this. Finally, they got the, uh, the order sorted out. The cone goes flying. Somebody's hit the cone. Let's see what uh, penalty that incurs. But uh, oh, we got some hard battling here now as the... Uh, Q1 car. Off to a little bit of a There's the Aaron Prosser right there, too. Once again, Bill Butler and Brad Dawson. Dawson on the inside, Butler. Butler on the outside. The cone out on track at the moment, not causing any problem. So, Little Bill is from here. Hansi. Steve Collins here to make follow in by Sean Rose. Up there, too, Kyle Honor has had a pretty impressive run at the rear of the field there. Daniel uh, Jones. Still there, it's Leonville. Terry Leonville. From the 12 of Clinton, Hansi. Being more second space, Desi goes through every time down the bottom. Got one on the skier earlier on. Prosser can't seem to do much about it. Dawson has fought off the advances of Will Butler, although Butler might come again here now. Rose has got up in front of Collins. That's the battle back uh, for. Sixth and seventh at the moment, and it's still Leonville. It comes around to wipe off another lap, 14 laps to go in this one. Behind Rose, a long, long way back to Collins. Then Kyle Honors having a pretty fair run out there to Dylan Hunter. Trent McLean, our visitor from New South Wales in the eight car. Having a good run, we got a 21 there there, Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones loops it around, bringing a... A halt with 13 laps to go. And up and running in the mud lane, Freakshin and all Once again, it's Leonville stretching the legs of a little Q1 car. Prosser walks the inside run on Hensi. He goes out wide. Hensi comes back at him. Good running by these two. Dawson. Butler still there and Rose looking fairly racy out there in the 56 car. The Stewie Auto remains the same in the room. The only process has got up. It's the men in second spot. So here we go. This is the race of the queue of the two number one cars out in front. Louisville and Prosser. Can Louisville keep with the machine going and turn the papers on Prosser? Then Nancy stood up there in third place, followed by Dawson Butler. Sean Rose in the 56. Bonich having his own little war at the rear of the field. Track holding up very well, of course, a fair bit of work going into it at an interval to make sure that happens. Collins behind Rose. Further back then, the 45 of Dylan Hunter. 
but they're not making much of a mark on our leader as he comes around closing in on eight laps. In fact, here's he's coming back. At the A1 car of Prosser. Aaron Prosser in pursuit of Terry Leonard. And Clinton, there's the in pursuit of the other uh, pair of them out there. Oh, he's got an opportunity now. Let's hang on to Prosser. Further back then to Brad Dawson. Followed by Will Butler, Sean Rose. And Steve Collins, oh, whack it all over the 45 of the Dylan Hunter. Wouldn't have caused him too much grief. Still there and there with six laps to go. So there and there our leader. Pross has got his hands full trying to keep his here at bay. Should be able to do it. But he's lost all contact with our leader. Just up the road from him, Wayne Dawson. He's, hasn't got that machine going at all well tonight. Unfortunately for him. He's closing in on the zero like you don't often see that. Wayne Dawson's always in the thick of things. So he stays out wide. Lorenville gets through on the inside. Pross is still in second spot. Three and three quarter laps from home in the feature race. That 20 lap of the night. So Lorenville is still three laps from home. So on the inside there goes uh, Pross out, but uh, Lorenville trying to put as many cars as he possibly can between him and the A1 car. He's got two at the moment. Well, he washes out a little bit. Pross is not done with yet. He's coming with another run. Goes through on the inside of uh, Chris Crow with the 49. Lurinville still in the lead with one to go this time around. The white flag comes out for the feature. Watch out for the 45. He goes fast to another. And Lurinville. Terry Lurinville flies up the back straight. Prosser coming with one late run. Here we go, right down to the wire. Prosser's coming on strong. It is Lurinville. Lurinville plays there from Prosser. In third place. Across the line, Clinton Hansey in the 12, followed by Brad Dawson in the 48. The 63 of Will Butler in fifth spot, followed by Sean Rose as 56. And the other finishers in seventh to 61 of Collins. In the nine of Jake McRae, the 45 of uh, Dylan Hunter, of course. Nathan Pollich, Chris Crow, and Wayne Donaldson winding out the field. Aaron Pross in the fastest on 15.380, but a little bit of satisfaction down there for the Q1, having lost his title of the man he just defeated out there. Put your hands together to Terry Lorenville, folks. We're going to hear from him right now. Thanks, Bob. Yeah, he's back. He struggled a little bit with this car for a lot of the season. You know, you always can do a little bit of running and dirt modifieds as well, so very versatile. But back where we've seen so much of him in the past, in Victory Lane, in the Mud Lights. Terry, it's about time, about the time you got back here out of chat. It's been a while, but obviously you got this car sorted pretty well now. Yeah, you got it sorted pretty well. Yeah, I miss you too, really. I know, it's, 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 not, it's not incentive to win a race to come and talk to me. That's enough incentive, all right? Yeah, exactly. I uh, had a great night finally getting on top of this thing. I was a sheer accident on that first start where I run Clinton into the wall. I sort of slid a bit and didn't control it quick enough. That was my bad and I apologise for that. But yeah, just think to, like to thank Archer Field for putting on a great meeting as per usual. All you guys for doing your work here. My beautiful wife Angela and mum and kids up there. Nathan and Phoebe from Edge Racing Australian Landmark Derby. How was the plan next year to run the, the mud light and the dirt modified again? Yes, yeah, I plan to do that. Whichever class I excel in, I'll probably follow it more as per usual, but uh, hopefully I'll have a blinder in both. It'll be the ultimate. Uh, no worries. Thanks, Terry. And Phil Andrew, put your hands together. Really, our last Mud Light feature race of the season, and they've been great, and they've really been growing in numbers again after a bit of a slow start.